What's up, everyone? Today we're making hop to ha honey walnut shrimp. My name is Randy, and we are the Laos. We're on a mission to celebrate and pass down our Chinese heritage, one meal at a time. After 50 amazing years as a Chinese chef, my dad's finally retired, and he's here to teach you all of his secrets to make the perfect honey walnut shrimp, a dish he's made hundreds of times. 朋友们，大家好啊！我今日咧同大家介绍呢个系叫做蛤。桃蝦，我今日用咧係用二十隻蝦，二十隻蝦大概係十盎司、十一盎司咁上下啦蝦啦。誒、呃，呢、這個蝦嘅 size 係廿六至三十個 size 嚟嘅。啊，另外咧，蝦桃蝦梗要蝦桃係咪？蝦桃咧，我係用三個盎司咁蝦桃。如果你中意俾多啲或者減少啲，即係隨意啦。呢、這個係冇乜所謂嘅，蝦都係你中意食多啲咪俾炸多啲。If you've never tried honey walnut shrimp before, it's like the perfect balance of sweet, savory, crunchy creaminess. Mmm! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of you guys asked about the origins of honey walnut shrimp. It's interesting because it doesn't taste like old school Chinese cuisine, and also, just like General Tso's chicken, it's extremely popular in the West, yet fairly unheard of in the East. I couldn't find anything definitive on the exact origins, but most likely the dish was first invented in Hong Kong and made its way to the U.S. in the 80s and 90s. Interestingly, none of my younger friends in Hong Kong have even heard of this dish. But digging deeper, when we asked the older generations of Hong Kong, they had tons of memories and experiences eating it. By one anecdote from my friend's mom, growing up in Hong Kong in the 60s and 70s, she went to banquets all the time. Both walnuts and prawns were considered expensive and celebratory, but the walnut prawn dish was a more affordable seafood banquet item compared to dishes like abalone or steamed grouper. Fast forward to today, at least in the United States, it's extremely popular as both a Chinese banquet and takeout dish. It's one of those rare recipes that's guaranteed to wow your friends, but it's also extremely easy to make. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com/madewithlao to learn more. Ah, 鸡蛋咧，摆只鸡蛋落嚟，啊半只鸡蛋就得嘅，啱啱发现捞捞嘢，系咪？啲虾点样处理先啊？买翻嚟我啲虾咧，啲虾系原本就系冇壳冇肠噶啦吓，但系咧我要开翻深啲，因为我喺度炸虾炸嘅时候咧，就靓好多，中间开深啲佢，睇睇到。How do you pick good shrimp? Lamei, this hot is better. Lamei, south America. Why? The weather is good. 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 China, India, and more. To learn more, check out the link in our description. I, 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 As a quick fun fact, during the American Civil War, condensed milk was one of the best field rations for soldiers, since it was so compact and rich in calories. After the war, condensed milk skyrocketed in popularity and became a mainstream product. Then we put it in the pot. Okay, we put it in the pot. Then 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 we put it in the pot. For our batter, we'll be mixing four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, half of our beaten egg from earlier, six to seven tablespoons of water, and two teaspoons of corn oil. Mix until there are no clumps remaining. We want a nice, smooth, and almost runny consistency, so you may need to add more water until you get there. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. 總之，大家話俾你聽，整呢個糖醬。如果你冇呢個蜜糖，用呢、這個用啲白糖做呢個糖醬。通常都餐館用都係多數用紫啲糖醬嚟嚟做嘅啫。嚇，個糖醬點樣做咧 ？We'll add three tablespoons of white granulated sugar and two tablespoons of water to a bowl and mix. 我買個位，第一次咧喺買個位度打六十秒。We'll be microwaving this three times: 60 seconds for the first time and 30 seconds for both the second and third times. Between each round, stir the sugar. 睇到啲糖喺度滾啊，嚇，糖喺度滾係咪？咁樣咧，左左佢
，就已經得噶啦，就已經成糖漿啦。一凍咗佢咧，佢就成糖漿啦。香緊炸好多核桃嗰時候咧，撈落去就得噶啦。嗱，好簡單，係咁做啦。我哋而家咧炸核桃先，我俾啲油上去。我哋用油咧，估計浸多隻蝦就浸嗰隻蝦嘅為止就得噶啦。而家燒緊油，炸核桃咧，啲油唔需要好熱，誒，慢慢咁炸。We'll wait for the oil to heat up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. 喺餐馆炸核桃嘅时候咧，佢通常有一个手续，手个程序咧，就俾啲水落啲碱水落煲，煲到啲啲核桃咧甩晒面上嗰阵皮，就再整干先至炸。但系我哋屋企做嘅唔需要咁样噶啦，太复杂。个 color 同餐馆做去晒皮嘅 color 有啲唔同，因为餐馆佢要攞佢嘅。好睇，我哋屋企咧做咧就可以免咗呢个呢层嘢啦，就可以简单啲，你哋容易做啲，系嘛？而家咧先炸核桃先，核桃唔使好热，嗱，倒咗核桃落去，慢慢炸。呢度咧第三个安子嘅核桃，如果你系想食多啲核桃嘅，亦都唔紧要，你咪俾多啲咯，唔紧要啫，吓、啊，炸核桃唔急得嘅，就慢慢慢慢火炸。如果唔系咧，油太热咧，佢啲核桃好容易黑，唔炸得透。因为佢核桃佢本身入边系好多油质喺度嘅，知道嘛 ？We'll be frying our walnuts twice. This first time, we'll be frying them for around three to four minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. For deep frying, you should generally avoid olive oil for anything that involves higher heat. This is because olive oil has what's called a lower smoke point, which is the temperature at which the oil stops shimmering or rippling and starts smoking or burning. Smoking oil isn't always a problem, and sometimes it's even desired for getting that perfect wok hay in your stir fry. But it's a sign that the oil is breaking down, which can release burnt or bitter flavors or even harmful free radicals. Here's a chart that highlights the smoke points of a few of the most common cooking oils. There are a few other factors that go into selecting oils, like whether they're neutral or flavored, or refined or unrefined. Most cooking oil is created by extracting and compressing seeds and nuts, and oils that are unrefined, raw, or virgin. Are usually bottled almost immediately. They generally have more nutrients, but a lower smoke point and shorter shelf life. Refined oils go through more processing for a higher smoke point, longer shelf life, and a more neutral flavor. It's not totally true that you should avoid olive oil, since you can buy either refined or unrefined varieties. But for simplicity's sake, for frying, you generally want to use neutral, refined oils like vegetable oil, refined olive oil, or corn oil. What? How much? 油温太高嘅咧，好容易炸到啲核桃嘅黑色嘅啦嚇。而家咪幾好咯，係嘛？而家咪幾好咯。而家咧，我哋俾啲糖漿落去，攞攞落去啦嚇。係啲蜜糖嚟嘅。如果你冇豆頭先用，我個個得啦。你唔睇好多啫，佢兩個湯匙、三個湯匙都夠啦。嗱，睇到嗱，落咗糖之後再炸，落咗糖再炸翻佢咧，佢嗰啲核桃咧就變咗好脆啦。The second time, we'll make sure our oil has reheated to around 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll be frying the walnuts for about two more minutes. 好啦，而家咧，核桃嘛，睇见好靓色啦，系嘛，啲颜色唔好靓啦，系嘛，攞得噶啦。好，核桃就炸好啦。Next, we'll prepare to double fry our shrimp. Ideally, you'll either want to use a second pan or wok, or thoroughly clean the one you just used to fry the walnuts. If you stick with the same one, there will be some charred sugar on the bottom of the wok. If you don't clean it off, it'll stick onto the shrimp and result in a more muddied look after frying, which we don't want. If you're using a second wok, carefully pour some of the oil from the first wok into the second one, being sure not to let any of the honey or sugar pour in. Either way, we want to be frying with a generous amount of oil, enough to fully submerge the shrimp. We'll let this oil heat up to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're now starting to prepare to cook the fish. 將佢攪再攪下佢，等佢冇細粒咗先啊！再攪攪佢嗱，啲咁啦，啲炸嗰啲粉咧就喺入咁樣流落嚟就可以噶啦，咁就 OK 啦。嗱，我哋俾一滴粉落去，睇下佢嗰啲油夠唔夠温度就知道啦。When you drop the batter into the oil, if it floats immediately, then the oil is hot. If the batter instantly turns golden brown, the oil is actually too hot. Another way to monitor the temperature is with an instant read thermometer. If you don't have one, I've included links to a few options in our description. 好啦，我哋而家将啲虾咧倒晒落嚟，啲粉喺度，我哋搞好就嘅，捞晒啲粉佢嗱。Mix the shrimp well so that each piece is coated in batter. Once our oil has reached about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll set the shrimp into the wok one by one. Be careful not to splash oil as you do this. We'll be frying our shrimp twice. The first fry is meant to cook the shrimp. And we'll be frying this for about two to three minutes. 
The shrimp should be floating and the batter should turn a beautiful golden brown. Then we'll transfer the shrimp out of the wok and let the oil heat up to 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's hot enough, we'll transfer the shrimp back into the oil. This second fry is meant to make the batter extra crispy and we'll be frying for about 60 to 90 seconds. Then we'll transfer the shrimp onto a plate. Beautiful, Somebody said, um, like, you know, General Sao's chicken? They made it and they love it. So at their house, they call it General Lao's ch chicken. <laughs> really? Yeah. You like that? That's nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's so good. Mm -hmm. When I was a little girl, mm -hmm. I was so picky. Mm -hmm. I don't like any seafood. Mm -hmm. But at a banquet, I always had this one. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> what fish is this? <laughs> What's your first memory of this dish? In China, I never have a chance to eat this. Mm. Because, if, like I say, in China, we don't have enough oil to deep fry it. Uh, for this, for this, it is wedding banquet. Mm -hmm. mm. When, when you have a banquet, right? There's a lot of dish. Mm -hmm. They come out one by one, one by one. But this one always go first. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I say, yeah. Oh yeah. my God, what a cutie. Hi, <laughs> baby. I have a question. Is this better with a certain size prawn? Mm, so our cousin actually asked, and a few other people, any non shrimp replacements? Like, mm, you you're vegetarian? And another Patreon member asked, Scallops, calamari, tofu. Oh. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, if you have a, some people might be allergic to walnuts. Mm. Is there a different nut that you recommend? Mm. 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 Uh, um, mm. My mm. 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 For me, I think real honey yeah. is better than cheap honey. Mm -hmm. In the restaurant, because it's too expensive to use oh, honey. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, too expensive to use the honey for this dish. Yeah. They use syrup. Yeah. They made the syrup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm how do you get the unique 
savory, sweet sauce flavor. Like when they've made this dish, it just tastes like mayonnaise and condensed milk. How do you make sure those two flavors don't like overpower the dish? Mm -hmm. Lemon juice is very important. Mm, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Was this dish popular in China? In United States, it's very popular. A lot of people like it. A lot of people know this dish and they love to order when they have a banquet and have a like a party serve with something. But in a Chinese bank, like a Chinese bank in China, would you have this or not? 喺中國嘅酒席有冇？嗯，比較少，唔係咁多。嗯，OK。喺呢度就好多時都有。Is there symbolism related to this dish? 蝦同合桃咧，合桃係一個好嘅，即係等於即係爹哋以前講嘅百得百年好合嘅合字，即係個合字面 together。呢個係一個好嘅，即係好嘅 symbolism for 合桃。咁加上合桃營養又好。雖然是蝦是蝦蝦笑和會噴麵會很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很活躍很
，又又浸酒，又嘅大酒。係啊 ，Yeah， 我嗰陣時試嘅。哎呀，講完。Yeah, do you want one shrimp for your wedding? Thank you, all our fans, all our audience. Thank you for you watch, like, enjoy, and share, and support our video. And see you next time. Hong Doi, see, see you next time. Hong Doi. Hehehehe. Hehehehe. Hong Doi know how to call.